something, just take a minute of your time, do something quite special, to recognize a very special person who has been supported, uh, supportive uh, and a great asset uh, to Aging 2.0 the last couple of years since she sent us an email oh, probably two years ago, uh, having seen us in some, uh, I think the San Francisco Chronicle, end of 2013 it was, um, saying, hey guys, I think I can help you. Um, and so started the relationship with uh, Dr. June Fisher. And I said, oh, okay, um, tell us more about you. So she then uh, arrived at our office in the Institute on Aging with her walking sticks in hand, and we sat down and had a really good hour-long conversation in which I immediately started videoing half of it um, and then put it up on the blog saying, like, this person is a genius design, somebody who's very credible, who's 80, I think you'll, I'm not allowed to say your age perhaps, but uh, you are a good, a, good, a good age with some good experience, but a real expert design background, healthcare background, and somebody who was living this, somebody who had, as uh, some of you who've interacted with June, uh, opinions and uh, perspectives and insights. Um, and so we just wanted to take a little moment to offer you the June Fisher Outstanding Mentor Award. And if you'd like to come up, we've got a little something that we'd like to give you to recognize your contributions to Aging 2.0 and the Design Challenge, and in particular for the two teams this year that you've been very helpful with supporting, all of the startups that you've been helping us uh, with over, over the last couple of years as the newly created Chief Elder Executive, uh, Chief Elder, what are we calling it? Chief, um, Chief Elder Officer. Of, of the startups, which is the CEO role. So, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to make you leap on top of this uh, board here, but I just wanted to uh, to give this to you, which you might not be able to see at the back, but it's the Outstanding Mentor 2015 Stanford Center on Longevity and Aging 2.0. Okay, okay. Just saying a couple of words, we'd love to. Uh, well, the first thing I lied. I'm not 81. I'm 18. <laughs> uh, when I'm going to be, I'm told I'm going to be 82, but that's going to be frightening to be 28, because uh, I prefer to be 18. But I have to thank Aging too to help me be 18. It's been a very exciting experience to working with uh, all these young people. I've had the experience before. Uh, I'm not a product designer, but I fell into it for my healthcare work, which I still do. And I have one thing that I would want to say to all of you, and this is one I get angry about. Don't design for us. Design with us. All the time we did it in healthcare, we did, I worked on I do occupational health, and a lot of it was in preventing occupational exposures to uh, nurses, particularly healthcare workers all together. And we did a design course for these nurses, and they referred to themselves as nasties, nurses against stupid technology. <laughs> and I think we can find an acronym here probably, because most of the design we see that I'm told is for me, they're stupid, and they're unwanted and they rob us of our autonomy. So if you can think about designing with us and helping us to maintain our autonomy so we can remain run regardless of what kind of physical impairments that we have, I would urge you to do it. And I was very proud of the students who did it. 